Now and then, there are times when celebrities taking their own lives remain a mystery. And in most cases of sudden deaths among stars, spouses and lovers become the main suspect. There are various assumptions and rumors about the deaths as a result. There is a mysterious case in Korea's entertainment industry that still puzzles many people. It's the death of singer Kim Seong-jae from the 90s K-pop duo Deuce. Kim Seong-jae left this world at the young age of 23. The main suspect in the case was initially sentenced to life in prison, but then was acquitted by both the appeals court and the Supreme Court. There are still many questions about this mysterious case, and so today we will take a closer look at the death of Kim Seong-jae 28 years ago. Early in the morning, on November 20th, 1995, Kim Seong-jae from the popular dance group Deuce was found dead in room 57 of the Swiss Grand Hotel's annex in Seoul's Hongundong in the Sodemun district. And the news of his death shocked the country. That's because it was the day after he successfully made his solo debut on SBS's TV Gaio 20 Live with As I Told You, the title song for his first album. He had recently returned to South Korea from the United States with a new dance team after Deuce broke up. Deuce, consisting of Kim Seong-jae and Lee hyun -do, debuted in April 1993, and they were the representative icons of the K-pop world in the 1990s with their new jack swing and soul genres. Kim grew up in a family of educators, as his mother, Yung mi -seng, majored in education at Iwa Women's University, while his father, Kim su hong studied law at Korea University and later became a businessman. Kim lived in a number of countries, as his father, who was in the import-export business, moved around a lot, meaning he was skilled in foreign languages, as well as a good singer. Kim was artistic from a young age, as well as he had a good fashion sense. That made him popular among the ladies. After his debut performance of As I Told You on November 19, 1995, Kim and eight people, including his dentist university student girlfriend, manager, and backdancing team, watched a videotape recording of his performance repeatedly in a hotel room and held a party. Each of the participants went to bed, and after 1 a.m., Kim Seong-jae and his girlfriend, Kim yoo Sun were the only ones awake. The girlfriend testified that she and her boyfriend, who was lying on the sofa, talked for a few more hours, and then she went home around 3.40 a.m. At 6 a.m. the next morning on November 20th, Kim song jes manager went to wake up the singer, who was lying face down on the sofa. He didn't wake up, and so the manager left him alone for a while longer. Fifty minutes later, the manager turned the singer's body over, and he was continuously unresponsive. The manager and a back dancer, Dunoa, transferred Kim Song jae to a hospital, but he was dead. Kim, who was born on April 18, 1972, died at the young age of 23. A sudden unexplained death was first said to be the cause. Police suspected that Kim died of a heart attack, and they totally neglected the fact that two American back dancers, who stayed in the same room as the singer, left the country a day after he was found dead. On the day of his death, at 2 p.m., while the medical examiner was filling out a death certificate, a police official surnamed Oh took a photo of Kim's body with a Polaroid camera. That act was a crucial mistake. When pictures are taken with a Polaroid camera, the shade of the subject comes out much darker than a regular camera. As the picture of the body was taken in the afternoon, when there is low illumination, the picture was dark and you couldn't see it very well. And so, it was difficult to estimate the time of death. 
And since the Polaroid picture was taken half a day after Kim died, there was no use for it. The estimated time of death, which could have determined who Kim Sung-jae was with when he died, was one of the key issues during his murder trial, which went on for two years and three months. In addition, if the medical examiner took Kim Sung-jae's rectal temperature, authorities could have determined the time of his death. But that wasn't the case. The examiner did, however, discover needle marks on the singer's body. This made Kim's death more of a mystery. On December 5th, after receiving autopsy results from the National Forensic Service, police hurriedly headed to the hotel where the singer had been staying to get CCTV footage from the hallway. But the footage had already been erased. The hotel said it didn't keep footage from the hallway CCTV camera because they didn't think Kim's death was a murder. But since the press suspected that the singer was a drug addict because of the needle marks in his arm, the hotel likely didn't want to get involved. The National Forensic Service's autopsy detected animal anesthesia, including tylenamine, zolazepam, and zolotil in Kim's body, raising more suspicions. 28 needle marks of different depths and sizes were also found on Kim's right arm. Three of them were in his muscles, five of them where his arm folded, and the remaining 20 were spread out along his veins. Aside from the three deep needle marks in his muscles, the rest were impossible to see with the naked eye. 28 needle marks being spread out in three different areas is a common occurrence for drug addicts. Zolotil was designated as a drug in the United States in 1987 and was used in Europe as well. According to a 2012 report, there was only one case of Zolotil being used in Korea, which means it's very rare. Kim Sung-jae often took off his shirt in public, and so he wouldn't have if he had needle marks all over his body, meaning he wouldn't have injected himself with animal anesthesia. Then on December 9th, 1995, police suddenly arrested the singer's 25-year-old girlfriend, Kim Yoo-son, on murder charges. They have been dating for two years, and prosecutors believe she killed Kim Sung-jae because she had a grudge against him for trying to break up with her when he went to the U.S. in July of that year. Prosecutors found out that she had purchased 5 milliliters of Zolotil from a veterinary clinic and immediately issued a warrant to arrest her. The director of the veterinary clinic, who appeared as a witness for prosecutors at the time, said Kim Yoo-sun visited the hospital to get dog medicine. According to the director, Kim came in one day and said, My dog is having trouble going pooping and peeing, and I think it has dementia, and so I think I'll have to euthanize it. The director said she purchased the France-imported animal anesthesia, Zolotil 50, in powder form, diluted solution, 7 grams of magnesium sulfate, and two syringes in early November, and came back on December 1st and asked the director not to tell police about her purchases. The director said she also asked him if components of Zolotil could be found in an autopsy. December 1st is four days before the National Forensic Service released autopsy results that detected animal anesthesia in Kim sung jes body. The director didn't think much of Kim Yoo-sun's favor, but after seeing news that Zolotil was detected in Kim sung jes body, the director reported it to authorities. In cross-examination, Kim Yoo-sun didn't acknowledge what she was accused of for four hours. But after the director of the veterinary clinic testified, she admitted and was detained. She told reporters that she bought the drugs to commit suicide after failing a national dentist examination, but decided not to go through with it and threw it away in a neighborhood trash can. But she had failed the exam 10 months prior, and so it was difficult to accept what she said. According to Kim sung jes manager at the time, Kim yoo sun was obsessed with the singer and liked tying him up. 
The manager claimed that in early July 1995, he witnessed Kim Sung Jae coming out of his girlfriend's home after she shot him with a gas gun. The manager said he heard from Kim Sung Jae that his girlfriend told him, You have to die, and shot him in the face with a gas gun. The girlfriend claimed it was a misunderstanding, saying we were playing around with a gas gun and it went off by accident. She also denied ever tying her boyfriend up. Kim Yoo-sun is said to have called Kim Sung-jae a total of 62 times during his one-month stay in the United States. On the other hand, Kim Sung-jae never called his girlfriend. Kim Yoo-sun obsessed over her boyfriend. Was she more obsessive and in doubt because she couldn't reach her boyfriend when he was in the US? If the claims of the manager were true, you could see that the girlfriend was not only obsessive, but also had aggressive tendencies. Some believe that she carried out the crime because she felt deceived by Kim Sung-jae. Do a back dancer who was with the manager when they found Kim Sung-jae unresponsive, said in court that the night before there were no needle marks in the singer's arm. He testified that Kim Sung-jae and his girlfriend didn't have the best relationship. He said they fought every time they talked on the phone when Kim Sung-jae was in the US and argued a lot when he returned to Korea. But Kim Yoo-sun, along with her counsel, refuted each claim. She said she met Kim Sung-jae in September 1993 at a nightclub in Seoul's Gangnam, and they were so in love that they were going to get married, adding he never said he wanted to break up. In regards to the syringes, her counsel said Kim Yoo-sun was a medical student, and so she used them to inject nutrients into her boyfriend's body. Her counsel said the magnesium sulfate she purchased wasn't detected in Kim Sung-jae's body, and they claimed that the amount of Zolotil she bought wasn't a lethal dose, calling the death an accident. The counsel called Kim Yoo-sun fragile and completely denied murder. But the court seriously took into consideration all of the testimonies and acknowledged the charges by the prosecution that the suspect purchased the animal anesthesia Zolotil and murdered Kim Sung-jae with it, and they sentenced her to life in prison. But there was a complete reversal during the appeals trial. A veterinarian linked to Kim yoo sons counsel said that when one bottle of Zolotil 50 is injected into the muscles or veins of an adult male that weighs 75 kilograms, he will lose consciousness within 3 to 5 minutes and will stay unconscious for about 15 minutes. But that amount is not enough to kill someone. The veterinarian testified that for a 75-kilogram male to die, he would have to be injected with 50 bottles of Zolotil 50. This expert evidence was disadvantageous for prosecutors. This claim says that it can't be 100% certain that someone could die from this amount. In addition, assertions about the time of death were different. Prosecutors claimed Kim Sung-jae died before 3 a.m. when his girlfriend left, between 1 a.m. and 2.50 a.m., based on the fact that a purple discoloration was found on his chest when his manager found him at 6 a.m. on the morning of November 20th and turned him over. But Kim Yoo-sun's side said the singer died around 7 a.m. after being transferred to the hospital, adding the girlfriend didn't have a direct connection to his death. The Polaroid picture that was taken before the autopsy was a problem. That's because it came out dark. The appeals court ruled on February 26, 1998, that a healthy victim suddenly died and needle marks were found on his body. The autopsy results found drugs in his body, and the accused has acknowledged this. But we cannot conclude that she was the killer simply based on these strong suspicions. Regarding the injection of drugs as being the immediate cause of death claimed by prosecutors, 
The court said even if the accused injected Kim Songjae with drugs, one bottle of Zolotil 50 will only put a healthy adult to sleep and not kill them, and denied the claims. In the third trial at the Supreme Court, Kim Yoo-sun's acquittal was confirmed, based on a lack of evidence. Later, Kim Yoo-sun lodged a defamation lawsuit against former SBS PD Kim Kyung-man, who reported on the incident. But on May 5, 2012, the Seoul Central District Court said even though the acquittal was confirmed, it didn't positively prove that Kim Yoo-sun didn't kill Kim Song-jae and Kim young man won the suit. In other words, prosecutors at the time didn't properly verify the criminal facts and so they indirectly acknowledged the ruling. Then, SBS's Unanswered Questions planned to air a program about the suspicious death of Kim Sung-jae on August 3rd, 2019, but a broadcasting ban by Kim yoo sun caused it to be cancelled. It was the first broadcasting ban, an unprecedented occurrence, and at the time, over 200,000 people signed a petition on Chongwade's website requesting that the program be aired. This promoted requests for a reinvestigation into the case. More information was gathered, and the program was planning to air once again on December 21st, 2019. But for the same reason, there was a broadcasting ban placed on it. At the time, PD Pe Jong-hun said he would never give up. NBC recently aired its In the Name of God series about cults in Korea, not on its station, but rather on Netflix. Netflix Korea had received a broadcasting ban injunction lodged by the religious organization Agadongusan. But since Netflix is based in the United States, the organization withdrew the injunction, calling it meaningless. PD Pe Jong-hun heard this news and announced that it will soon release a three-part documentary about Kim sung jes mysterious death on OTT. Then how will Kim yoo sun react? When Kim yoo sun was applying for broadcasting ban injunctions in 2019, she also lodged a damages claim suit worth 1 billion won against Chong Hee Sun, the head of the drug department at the National Forensic Service, who revealed that Zolotil was found in Kim sung jes body. In interviews and lectures, Chong Hee Sun said Kim yoo sun accused her of making it seem she murdered Kim sung jae Kim yoo sun said she made the false statement that the animal anesthesia Zolotil had never been used in people, despite the fact that the animal anesthesia was used as drugs. The court ruled that it's rare for Zolotil to be detected in a person's body, noting Chung had carried out 100,000 experiments, and Chung eventually won the suit. This year marks 28 years since Kim sung jae died, but still, Many suspicions remain surrounding his death. Kim sung jes family is still suffering to this day. Their son's sudden death deeply saddened his family. We need to take a look back at the problems with the investigation at the time so that something like this doesn't happen again. Kim sung jes death is the representative example of how important the first stages of a police investigation is. What do you think? Do you think it was a premeditated murder? Or do you think it was an accident? That's all for today. Thanks for watching.